in Garage Hive, there are two methods uh, in which that you can measure technicians um, and workshop efficiency. In this video, we're going to talk about the Garage Hive concept, uh, which is based on recovery. Now, recovery is not normally found in the automotive industry. It comes from a professional background, such as solicitors or accountants. And from a business owner's perspective, it allows you to understand of the hours that you pay your staff, what percentage of time are you getting back at your full labor rate? So that's, you know, an average £50 an hour, let's say. Now, the reason that um, the reason I personally like this, this method of measuring workshop efficiency is because just by looking at your efficiency, you can understand if you're making money or not. If you were to base this on the um, other concept of hours sold, you don't necessarily understand the value of the hours sold or the value of how efficient your workshop is. is. So in Garage Hive efficiency, um, using the Garage Hive concept is made up of um, two measurements, one being utilization and the second being labor recovery. So utilization is very simply just a measure of the hours clocked onto jobs against the hours attended. So it's a great way of understanding, one, if your workshop's busy, and two, if your workshop's organized. So this one really reflects on the business. It, it, it's not so much a reflection on the actual technician or the skill of the technician. The second measurement is labor recovery. Uh, and you'll notice that in the calculation, it says hours sold in brackets at full rate divided by the hours clocked onto jobs. So let's look at this first part, hours sold at full rate. So we are completely ignoring the quantity of labor. What we are instead doing is taking your labor sales and dividing it by your labor rate. And this is gonna give you your hours sold at full rate. What we're then doing is dividing that by the hours that, that are clocked onto jobs, not the overall hours, not the, not the hours the technicians attended, but only the hours that the technician has been clocked onto a job. Now the reason um, this works so well is because this is now measuring the technician whilst he's busy. So you're taking away utilization, you're only looking at the time the tech is clocked onto a job, therefore it's a really good measure of how skillful that technician is or how fast he's working or you know how quickly he's getting through the work. If you times utilization by labor recovery, you end up with efficiency. Efficiency is the measure of the amount of hours um, so in comparison to the hours you're paying, what are you receiving back at your full labor rate? So if we just if we just analyze one technician in particular, so let's have a look at technician A, for example. He's been at work for 190 hours. He's worked 173 of those hours. Therefore, his utilization is 91% using this top formula. Hours clocked onto jobs divided by hours attended. His labor sales are 8,491 pound. So if we just bring this calculator out, so 8,491, and we're gonna divide that by the labor rate, which is 60 pound per hour for this particular business, which gives us 141 hours sold at the full rate. So now if we divide the hours sold by the hours clocked onto jobs, we can see that his recovery is 81%, which is this measurement here. Then if we times 81% by 91%, his overall efficiency is 74%. So of the hours that I'm paying this technician, of the hours that he is at work in total, I'm receiving back 74.61% of his time at my full labor rate. Now again, like I said, the reason why I, I like this method is because from a business owner's perspective, efficiency really means that I am making money. And it's not just a measure of the hours that are being sold through the workshop is a measure of the value of the hours. So it, en it encompasses the front of house team, the person doing the selling, the workshop controller, and the technician. It truly is a measure of, of just how efficient your business is running. So I hope that clears up um, the utilization, recovery, and efficiency calculations. If you've got any questions, which I'm sure you have, just um, please let me know. Thank you.